Hi, I'm Cindy from BeDownswear.com and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make a bow with lace and tulle. It creates a great three-dimensional look, bringing multiple colors and a softness to the bow. This is a great look on the back of a skirt or on the front of a top. With this particular bow, I'm using some stretch lace. It's a really nice lace. Uh, this piece was used in the top of the costume. So now I'm gonna take and create a bow for the back. Uh, so we're gonna face it down wrong side. This particular piece is about 16 inches long. I have gotten some tooling. You can find it really cheap like this, or you can buy a square of tooling. Um, the costume is mint green and black, so I'm using black tooling. I'm gonna lay that on the edge. You want the tooling to stick out just a little bit from the top and the bottom, not too much. Uh, you can always go back in and do it. And then I'm gonna find the halfway point simply by folding it in half, having my finger in place, and then going back. That's the halfway point. So now I'm gonna fold this over, cross it over slightly, make sure that makes sense, and looks about, and yes it does. So now I have a needle and thread, Let's turn it this way so you can see. I'm going to go into all the layers, wind it in and out, in and out, in and out. Be careful not to poke yourself. In. I like using a long needle uh, just because those strokes have to be, um, otherwise you have to make lots of little strokes. So we're going to get, pull it nice and tight. I'm going to come back through. Now I'm going to wind it around to make sure that stays. Get to the tooling, push that tooling, face everything out, make sure that tooling pops out. We want to see the tooling, um, otherwise you would cut it a little shorter. So I'm going to go cut that back in. Let's fluff some of this out. Now the tooling helps to keep it stiff. So if you don't want to notice the tooling, cut it a little shorter, and then just go ahead and keep it tucked inside. So that's the first step. Now on this, I've cut, in a, I've cut a piece here. I'm gonna take the shorter side, right in the center, we're gonna pinch it together. Now your choice is points down, or points in the center. I'm gonna go with points in the center. I just like the look of that. So we'll wanna make sure, take that, make sure it's even. And I have gathered it up with my fingers, making sure, let's make sure it's even. The top part and the bottom part of the ruffle face the back, so that that way it turns towards the back. Now I'm gonna take my needle and thread, make sure there's a knot in there, wind it around a few times. Then I'm going to place that center in the back. I'm going to sew that on. Make it nice and secure. Tying a knot. Cutting that thread. Then before I go any further, I want to take a look at it. Make sure that's the look that I like. I can either leave it plain like this, but I always prefer to finish that off. There's a few little elastics sticking out. Let's cut them off. I'm going to take this piece here. I'm going to fold it in thirds, making sure the back side doesn't come through. Let's get, a, whoop, let's get a little more needle and thread because I don't have enough for this. I always like to make sure my thread, I have uh, not just one strip of thread because I want to make sure it's extra strong. I'm going to take that loop, put it right in there, go to the bottom where the knot is, and sew it down. I like to always make sure that things are secure in the back. So I'm going to flip it this way and open this up so you can see. When you're done, you can either you could put it on a clip for a bow, or you can put it on a pin or sew it directly onto the costume. So the first thing I'm going to do is see how it's folded in thirds. I'm going to place that in the center of the bow. And I'm going to sew it down. Quick sew. I'm 
And I'm going to take it and wrap it around. I want to keep it in thirds. I usually will sew it into a tube when I'm doing it with my sewing machine. Um, just because it makes it easier. You don't have to worry about anything unwinding anywhere. Then we're going to go back and come right to the back. So the fold is in the very back. And take this. Let's wind a knot in there. There we go. I'm going to pull that down. I'm going to look at it, make sure everything's hanging the way I want it to. Now I'm going to sew it into place. Just kind of wind it back across. And when you sew the bow down to the outfit or on a clip, you don't sew it just by that. You want to catch little parts of the entire bow so the weight isn't rested on any one part of the bow. And then we'll clip that away. And there is a bowl using tooling and lace. There we go. That's a little easier to see that way. There you go. Thank you for watching our video. And if you enjoyed it, make sure and click here to subscribe because we're going to have some amazing DIY videos coming out. And if you want to get our free, complete, Dance Costume DIY Guide, click right here or go to bedancewearer.com slash DIY Guide. And lastly, if you have any questions or ideas for future videos, please leave it in the comments below. Thanks again for watching our video. And remember, be original, be colorful, bedancewear.com.